Buongiorno. Hello. Bu we're going to sail today and it's a special day because there is a sail race. First sail race for me and Benjamin. Yeah. yeah? Trimming the seals and tightening the lines, like it's really, really impressive. We are not that often in a marina, so we take the opportunity to wash everything to get the tic tac washed. Bye -bye. So the maxis they just started. We have a great spot. We're preparing ourselves to leave. Yeah, to leave Venice. What are you going to do with that? We are Rihanna and Garben, and this is our son Benjamin. We made a few mistakes in life and experienced some challenges. Cancer, bankruptcy, depressions and a divorce. They ignited us in creating our reality. For now, sailing around the world to find our home somewhere on our planet. So welcome to our weekly vlog, from raw sailing to slow living. Embracing the race of life. going to sail today and it's a special day because there is a sail race from out the Adri Adriatic Sea to into Venice we have a lot of sailing boats yeah, so it's gonna be the first sail race for me and Benjamin yeah, yeah? I'm excited do do yeah. yeah. <laughs> you Captain Buongiorno! Buongiorno, come stai? Tutto bene, grazie. Te? Uh, bene. Rihanna is on the helm between the small bridge. It's just seven meters. So, uh, and we are five. So, this is precision steering. Thank you, Grazie! You did it! <laughs> I actually find it quite exciting and I was just saying to Gara maybe I want to do a race later with Benjamin when he's grown up a little bit with Optimist. Gara has done that of course already loads of times. Yeah. <laughs> but how nice. cool would that be? Benjamin do you want to race? No. Ben. This is really impressive. Harry is just uh, sailing the perfect sense through everything. No, not really sailing, motoring. <laughs> motoring, motor sailing. And we just passed by a super yacht. 
it looks like an iron it just went straight into the race it didn't care about anything So the Maxis they just started. We have a great spot. So you can watch the race, Rihanna. Oh, I yeah. You can see over there. Big ones. line and we hope we can meet our friends that the ones that we met just met when we were uh, going to the starting point it was that little beautiful boy boat sailing boat next to us and the guy made it totally by himself so we hope we can see them sail on the sail would be amazing and then we can say hi again So the race, they are just now coming from the Adriatic, they go into the lagoon and now they are going to start sailing downwind into Venice. So uh, yeah, it's so amazing to see. What do you got? Do you got your toothbrush? Do you got your toothbrush? I think we're throwing it away. I think it's gone. It's gone. Oh, look, Ben! Look! Wow! Where's the sea star? I see him! Where's the sea star, Ben? There. Yes! Yay. It is really so cool. You can even hear them trimming the sails and tightening the lines like... It's really, really impressive. And it's just beautiful. Venice is beautiful, but a sailing contest here is even more. And Benjamin loves it. What? Vliegtuig? Airplane?
Do I? Bam and discovered his new habit of spitting. It's not funny at all, but he thinks it's the most funniest thing ever. Benjamin, no spitting. No. Buongiorno. So it's getting colder here in Venice and we had some uh, lots of wind the last weeks and we have the leaves on the deck so we are not that often in a marina so we take the opportunity to uh, to wash everything to get the teak deck washed and to get all the um, the Jenica sheets washed and prepare ourselves for the trip going south. is uh, fixing the boat. Benjamin is playing around and it was too funny. He was on his own with his bicycle and then he threw his bike in the dinghy but he fell over after it and fell in the dinghy and then he stood up and said ta-da I did it. Somebody commented today on our newest video that at the age of 10 he will be single-handedly sailing a boat. And I think that's true. <laughs> I think so too. So Laura Decker now you know. Such an amazing feeling to wash the boat together with your son and, and now he understands also then when I say Benjamin can you close the hose and be close to water and then he said Daddy should I clean over there and then he's doing it. It's it's really it's 
really amazing. Two weeks driving into the canals of Venice and this is the result. I just changed the boat so we can clean the other side of the hole and look at this Benjamin okay Benjamin already started uh, cleaning the boat he put his finger in there Benjamin the GoPro nut. Yeah. The GoPro vest. Yeah. Okay. Go, Ben. More than a month. a month. Or more than a month? No, I think exactly a month. Wow. We're preparing ourselves to leave. Yeah, to leave Venice. Come, yes, come. we're leaving right, and we just prepared the boat. We cleaned her, we did our final laundry that's drying right now. Probably not drying time, but yeah, we're really happy to go more south. And we're really happy and grateful that we were here. Yeah, it's a fantastic place. The marina is fantastic. And we're gonna say goodbye to Sabrina. Sabrina is like the mother of the marina here. Come, come Ben. What are you gonna do with that? It's gonna be the first keychain. Keychain the breeze we're gonna give to Sabrina. And I think she deserves it because she welcomed us here in, uh, in Venetia and she finished <laughs> and she gave us all the tips and tricks and what a warm welcome. And what is it? Yes, it's the, our first key first product. It's called Keychain The Breeze. Yes, man, what is it? Oh my gosh. Shall we give that to Sabrina? Do you want to give it, Benjamin? Can you give it to Sabrina? You yes. Can give it. Yes. Together with Daddy. That's okay. Okay, come. Oh. Ah. Okay. Buongiorno. Where is Benjamin? Benjamin. Where is Benjamin? Where is Benjamin? Ah, do you have a present? For Sabrina. It's Come our first one. Come to see. Key chain. Oh, wow. Feel the breeze. The sense of adventure and freedom. While being one with nature. The act of living life on with terms and pushing your dreams while embracing the waves of, uh, of life. Fantastic. Grazie. Bellissimo. Hello. Can you speak very well, Agnes? This is our marinero, and he is he took very good care of us. Thank you very much, and uh, with the wind, the best. Yes, thank nice you. Nice to meet you for a uh, nice to meet you too. Yesterday he was thinking we were leaving very early, so he knocked on the boat. He said, "I want to say goodbye," but 
You're leaving now. Wow! No, wow. Cookies. Mommy. Wow. And look. No. We had a wonderful time in Venice and were inspired by her history and especially her origin. She was built by people who fled their houses on the mainland when barbarian conquerors were ravaging Italy in the 5th century. They used the marshy lagoon for protection and found refuge among the poor fishermen living there. And as the invasion continued across Italy, more and more refugees joined the first settlers and the need to build a new city grew and there and then Venice was born. So what resonates the most with us is that Venice is built by people who search for a different reality. A place to be safe. Not by giving up their rights for security, but by giving up everything to build something new. And as Venice is the city built in a lagoon, with little to no green, we were so surprised by the beautiful marina and the island of Certosa. A lush, green little paradise, just five minutes away from the city center of Venice. The island is characterized by a restored Roman settlement and a monastery. It is being developed by the owner of the marina and several other volunteers to make a place for the people of Venice to be inspired by art and to connect with the beautiful greens and nature that it has to offer. And even for primary schools to have those amazing outdoor expeditions. And as the marina is called Vento di Venezia, which means the breeze of Venice, I guess we just had to be here. And we, as everyone else arriving here, got to be welcomed by La Custoda, the caretaker. One of the beautiful pieces of art of the island, described by our artist as a woman, a goddess, a spirit, who watches over the nature to which she belongs, created with branches, ropes and reclaimed wood from the restoration of the island's urban park. She is the daughter of the lagoon. As we are leaving Venice with the daughter of the lagoon seeing us drift off, our hearts are filled with culture, history and inspiration. Venice a place that has so much more to offer than we had imagined from our visit four years ago. And as we set course to our next destination more south, we still have one more small stop to make in the lagoons of but this will be a surprise for our next vlog. Maybe silent. Buongiorno. Yesterday uh, we sailed up front to Chioggia because today we are going into Chioggia because we traced the sailor a small classic boat uh, during the sail race. So we just had a Prosecco and I heard a little bit more about the story of Mirko. Yeah. More. You have to trim more, Ben. Look at the sail. Look at the sail. Yeah, how is it going? Wow. Yeah. 